They up and coming, man. The view, the view. Y'all got a chance, you know, subscribe to them, man. Positive energy. Hey, what's up, man? It's P.E. to the P.E., Positive Energy. And if you want to get plugged into the newest and latest hip-hop apparel, including the TRBRC shirts, go on over to HoodG.com. They got everything you need. They got varsity jackets. They got track shoes, hoodies, hats, everything you need to get right, man. So go on over to HoodG.com. That's HoodGee.com. HoodG.com. One. What up? What up? What up? What up? Hit it. It's your boy, P.E. to the P.E., Positive Energy, A.K.A. A.K.A. F.A. Smith. Peace, man. It's all about the peace. Positive Energy doors constantly. Because we constantly... bodies i am not god body i am not a center i study some of their lessons agree with some of their philosophies and principles and thinkings but there are things that i do not agree with a little bit like christianity like there's some things about christianity i agree with there's a lot of things that i don't agree with me personally i religion is you rely on me. My religion is self. I rely on self. Everything I need and from the universe was given to me inside self. So everything I need to look for for this life and the next life is in self. So what I believe in is self. I believe I still need the physical form of God. Yes, I do. I do believe that. You created God in his image, and I'm an image of God, then I'm God in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, no disrespect to the five percent, not five percent, not Christian, not spiritual, not religious, not none of that. I'm just me. That's just a little short story. But here it's Friday, and it's a lot of shit going on in the sports world this Friday. Mm -mm -mm. We have Game Three of the World Series with watching the Nationals. Having a surprising two nothing lead. Uh, the NBA is done started. We seen Kyrie go for fifty the other night. Opening night, he put up a big fat fifty burger. Uh, Sam, uh, Kawhi and the Clippers last night, putting it on the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? They are looking good. Uh, they put up 140 points last night, man. Uh, whew. They gonna be tough. As of right now, I still truly believe that the Lakers will win, will beat them in the finals. But I do have a little bit of modification on that. That was with the uh, thought that LeBron wasn't gonna be so timid and scared against Kawhi, he doesn't change the way he plays, then uh, he might have a passing in a guard and Kawhi taking the torch from LeBron. Like, not, not passing, like the taking of the torch. Kawhi is here saying, I'm here to take the torch. I don't need you to pass me shit. You, I'm here. You here. We both got teams. What's up? And you want to act like this. Ain't no rivalry. Now, to LeBron's credit, I understand what he's coming from when he says that the Lakers and the Clippers are not a rivalry because they are not. Uh, the Clippers have never been on the Lakers level. They never won those championships. They never battled for Western Conference supremacy. Never. The Clippers have never even made it. 
Uh, excuse me. Clippers have never even made it to the Western Conference Finals. So when you have a team, hey, hey, what are you doing? So, so when you, if you're not uh, battling for championships and and like with stuff at stake, then I don't really consider it a rival. We used to play Timken in basketball just because you were in the same city. Okay, Kent McKinley and Kent Timken was in the same city. Never thought it was a rivalry because it every year. Okay, yeah, we're in the same city. We play every year, all that. But if we're beating you guys twenty six times in a row, you guys never have a state title, never made it off a of market. There's no really, there's no, there's not a rivalry there. We just beat y'all every year, like you know what I'm saying, y'all want to be us, but we're the greater team, and it's the same with the Lakers, like, you know what I'm saying, y'all never beat us in the playoffs when it count, like, like, so how is this really, a, like, y'all never stopped our season, y'all never, you know, gave us a bad taste of, oh, we gotta go think about this for the rest of the year, so how is y'all really a rivalry, but Kawhi and LeBron, now that there is a rivalry, he should have said, well, the Lakers and Clippers ain't a rivalry, but, you know, me and uh, Kawhi, you know what I'm saying? He he, he tried to downplay Kawhi. Basically, like, the way I'm taking it is he see Kawhi is here to take his shit, so he can't acknowledge that he is there. You know what I'm saying? So he has to try to, like, downplay everything he doing. He know. His time is done. I hate to say it, but after 17 years, bro, it's hey, it's gonna be tough for you to be uh, LeBron that everybody think he is. Now, me as a Laker fan, I want you to be the best LeBron that you ever was. But that's just as a Lakers purpose. The reality is, after 17 years, you know. That the wears down, father time is undefeated. I don't care how good he is. And, you know, when in his 17th season, that's when the injuries and everything occurred. So he was, you know what I mean? So it was what it is. At some point, the great come to an end. I just hope it is. He can ride it out for one more year. But that is no excuse. I There is no excuse for LeBron not to win this championship. I don't care what nobody says. He has enough. Don't, like, see, people already trying to say, oh, KCP didn't score a point. Man, it's not. Don't put the blame on KCP. Like, that's what I'm saying. Y'all want to give him all the accolades and all the praise. Well, when shit don't go right, you got to take the blame. That's the superstar. That's what it is. Yeah, man. Uh, Clippers off to a good start, looking good, but today is even bigger. That's right. It's Friday, man, and I'm in the state of Ohio, so y'all know what that means. It's high school football, and tonight, what we have in the Federal League, we have the 7-1. Canton McKinley Bulldog sitting with a league record of 5 and 0 oh, going up against the 7 and 1 Perry Panthers who are 4 and 1 in the federal league this game excuse me Perry I believe made 3 and 1 he played two federal games uh, the next two weeks, he has a non-league game against that the game that we all be waiting for. You know, 
Lynn Trashlin, whatever y'all want to call them. Kiss my ass, Lynn. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so this is a battle for the Federal League supremacy tonight, man. If McKinley wins this game, they will clinch the outright Federal League. And I believe that with one loss in the league, they will, they have already clinched at least a tie here in the Federal League. This is for outright. They didn't uh, have a little losing streak against Perry. Perry been having a number with that wing tee. They always play him like down like week eight season. And if anybody know anything about that wing tee offense, uh, it is a run based offense that uses multiple counters, misdirection. Ball handling, or you know, to move the ball, and it is an offense that old school offense that you don't see very often. You probably will only see it once a year, and this is the one time. And when you've let a wing T offense get in, you know, later in the season, the wing T offense is going to be more difficult been for teams who have not seen it at all this year and you know it's the by week eight the team that runs the wing team has been running it for eight weeks in the off season and are basically in their groove so they're running this offense at a high efficiency that means the discipline level of the McKinley defense has to be at an all-time high Linebackers got to read their keys. They can't be you know, tricked into the mixed direction and the counters. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they got to play very disciplined. It's, this is not the game for uh, every play type player. This is a do your job game. Do what you are supposed to do and let everybody else take care of their assignments. And that's how you can control this record. And another thing about McKinley, I think, is the problem for this game is their interior run defense needs work. Tackles. Tackles need to get more push, more penetration. And that helps a lot with the run and the pass defense. Penetration up the middle is key. The D ends do a solid job rushing the passer. Uh, e. Powell and Ron Dudley, I think his name is, 16 and 15. Do a solid job rushing the passer, but they're not going to be pass rushing tonight. Not very often. If they, if Perry throws, well, we want them to be rushing. Okay, this is what you want to do is make Perry have to pass the ball. You don't want them to be able to control the clock in the game by running their wing T 40, 50, 60 uh, tips. Uh, you know, you want them to have to pass 15 times. Any, if, you, if Perry passes the ball over 10 times, they are in trouble, and McKinley will have an advantage because that's not what they want to do. They want to come out and run the ball, control the clock. But like I said, 50 plays. If they can run the ball 50 times, they will do it. And that is what they want to do. They just want to stand there and punch McKinley in the mouth all night, which is a good test to get them prepared for Master next week, who's going to have a balanced attack. They need to get this type of push from their D, you know, what they need to work on. So this is a good to work on a highly stressful game, stressful situation. See how they react under the pressure. I can't wait.
this game tonight. It's going to be in Perry. Uh, it's going to be packed. Uh, I, I know I have to go real early just to probably get a seat. Uh, I don't think a stadium holds more than 5,000. And you can best believe Perry's whole community will be there. So, game starts at 7. I'm going to be trying to be there around 6 o'clock. I usually get to the games around 6.30, 6.40. 20 minutes before kickoff. I think tonight I might have to get there a little bit earlier. But it's dogs, man. Yeah, after the night, by tomorrow morning, it's on. Y'all know what it is. Tomorrow morning starts. And I'm going to have coverage all week. Bring you some of the festivities of Bass and McKinley week. Try to see if I can get you some footage. The uh, blood drive. Try to see if I can get the little parade <clears throat> in these particular different events. If I have time, because I do be working and be, yeah, you know, I run around all day. So <laughs> if I can make it and give you a glimpse of some of this. I will. If not, I'll give you some of the details of what has been going on. Yeah, man, it's Friday night. It's, like I said, it's the sweet spot of sports. You got the World Series going on tonight. You got O State and Wisconsin tomorrow at noon. You got the NBA, the Lakers, and Utah tonight at 10. I mean, it's, it's Friday. It is cracking. It is what it is, man. So, yo, man, I'll be back at you later. It's your boy, man. E, -E to the P E. Positive energy. We're going to have some peace. We may have peace. We come together as one. One love. It's all about the positive energy and the culture and pushing the culture forward in a positive direction. Hey, what's up, man? It's PE to the PE, positive energy. And if you want to get plugged into the newest and latest hip hop apparel, including the TRBRC shirts, Go on over to hoodg.com. They got everything you need. They got varsity jackets. They got track shoes, hoodies, hats, everything you need to get right, man. So go on over to hoodg.com. That's hoodgee.com. Hoodg.com. One. They up and coming, man. If you, if you, y'all got a chance, you know, subscribe to them, man. Positive energy.